between the life cycle funds and the G fund and the I fund and S fund and C fund and mm. F fund. Very good. Yep. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, how easy or complex is it to move the money around? Mm. Um, and not only that, but how quickly does it happen? That's a, that's a great question. Uh, there are some limits in place and they're, they're there for a good reason. Um, we, we really like to keep our fees low to benefit all of our participants. And so th there's a limit on how often you can move between the funds. It'll never, there's never a dollar cost associated with it. So we don't charge a, you know, a commission for a trade or anything like that, or any processing fee. It's always free to move between the funds, but you can only do um, two moves per calendar month. And then even after that, if you still need to move, you can, it just has to be to the G fund. So what that means is that, you know, if, if for some reason- if there's like a fire sale or something like that. Yeah, it, yeah. It, or if you have, I mean, there, there's a good reason for it. If you had a personal emergency and you needed to lock in, you know, you, you knew that you were going to be making a withdrawal and you had already moved twice within that month, but you wanted to get your money somewhere safe because you had some expenditure coming up, you can always, you can always go back to the G fund. But let's say the first day of the month, you decide, oh, I don't, I don't really want to be in the C fund anymore. I want to be in the I fund, and you you move from C to I. That that burned through one of your moves. A few days later, you say, oh, I was just reading about the S fund, some of these smaller companies in the U.S. I'm going to move from I to S. That's two. Now you're done for the month, except you can move back to the G. You can always move back to the G fund. Now the reason we have that limit in place is it helps keep cost low for all of our participants. We also know that these are retirement savings plans. These are long-term vehicles that um, you shouldn't necessarily be changing every single day. It's not like trading stock. It, yeah. yeah. We, we don't, day trading doesn't really help you for retirement savings. It's debatable whether it helps you at all. But with your TSP, it's best to stay the course. Um, the L funds are great for that because they're actually doing rebalancing every single day. You know, I talked about the L oh, fund. every day, really. They do. Yeah, they are they are portfolios. As, as I mentioned, it's a they take your money, whatever you have in the TSP, and it, they spread it across G, F, C, S, and I, and they do that in proportions according to how old you are and how far we think you are from needing the money. But it doesn't take any market considerations or anything like that. It's just like, okay, today it's going to be 99.9% .9 in this, and then tomorrow's going to be 99.98%. And they're, they're on a schedule, which we call a glide path. So it, 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 you start out high and you, you're trying to come in low and hopefully land smoothly at retirement. <laughs> and it, it, the, the high part of it, when you're young, high meaning high in stocks, very uh, aggressive, willing to take on that risk of market volatility, you're mostly in in those three stock funds I mentioned, C, S, and I. Uh, and over time, it'll gradually, every, every quarter, it'll gradually transition away from stocks and towards bonds until you reach retirement. You'll be somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30% stocks, and the rest will be in bonds, so a lot safer. You, you wouldn't want to be on the edge of retirement, you know, retirement a year or two away, and you're mostly in the stock market watching your entire balance go up and down. No, that'd be kind of scary. Well, for me, at least, yes. it would be. <laughs> uh, for others, it might be very exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but you asked about how often they're doing it, and it's it's an important question because they're, they're doing it every quarter, it's gradually stepping it down. But every single day, they are rebalancing back to their targets. And... That's a great feature of the L funds because it means essentially every day they they buy high or sorry <laughs> they buy low and sell high. So if <laughs> if stocks went up a little bit yesterday and bonds went down, the L funds are on autopilot. They know I need to keep this percentage in stocks and this percentage in bonds. So if, if stocks went up, they'll sell off a little bit of stock, put it in bonds, and and vice versa. And they do that every single day just sticking to those targets. That's interesting. I didn't, yeah. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. Huh. 
Connect with the benefits you earned and deserve. Visit news.va.gov for current events, sign up for the Vet Resources e-newsletter, subscribe on YouTube for content like the Sit Rep and VR5, or follow VA on social media. Visit the video description below and get connected today.